Hello everybody, welcome to our story today. This would be the story that we would have done at Kalern in collective worship and it's called The Helper Arrives. It's the story of God sending the Holy Spirit to his friends. Jesus told his friends to wait in Jerusalem, to wait for the helper he'd promised to send them. So they waited. They waited and they prayed for 40 days and while they waited, the streets of Jerusalem filled up with people from every land. People from the north and from the south, people from the east and the west, people from all around the world who came eager to get, celebrate the Feast of Pentecosts. Jesus' friends were in an upstairs room when suddenly some surprising things began to happen. They heard a wind blow. Harder than the fiercest storm, but nothing was blown about. They heard the flickering of flames. And they watched tons of fire lit and, la and land on their heads, but nobody smelled any smoke. And then the helper came, the Holy Spirit, and filled them all with the presence and power of God. And what they heard next was talking, strange words pouring out of each and every mouth. So they rushed outside, eager to tell the crowd what had happened. And now suddenly, Everyone could understand. People from the north and from the south. People from the east and from the west. People from all around the world. For well, now Jesus' friends were able to speak in foreign languages. Languages they had never um, heard before. All because of God's Holy Spirit. What better way to tell the world about Jesus? So that's what it's all about, said a man from Spain. That's amazing, said a woman from Africa. Tell me again, asked the man from France. But there were others who thought Jesus' friends were just talking nonsense. These people are drunk, one man shouted. It's nothing but a load of gibberish. And that's when Peter stood up. Peter, who had been with Jesus from the start, Peter, the fisherman. Peter, who had never made a speech in his life. Listen, everybody, he shouted. We are not filled with wine. We're filled with something else. God's own Holy Spirit. Many years ago, a prophet said that this would happen, that God would send his spirit to help not just special people like prophets and kings, but everyone. That has happened to us today and it has happened because Jesus, who died on a cross, was brought back to life by God himself and now sits beside God in heaven. It was Jesus who sent this wonderful gift to us. Jesus, the special one we have been waiting for all these years. Jesus, who was put to death by you. The people were sorry for what they had done to Jesus. What can we do? they cried. Tell God you're sorry, said Peter. Let him wash away all the bad things you have done and you will receive his Holy Spirit too. So that's what the people did. Three thousands of them. They told God they were sorry. They were baptised and they were filled with God's Holy Spirit. People from the north and from the south, people from the east and from the west, people from all over the world. So that's the story for collective worship uh, for today, the story of Pentecost. Um, and so next week is a school holiday officially, but I might try and do a story in the middle of the week anyway. So I'll see you all soon. Bye.